Uh, so, hi, my name is Rachel. I'm going to present something small about the impact of aflatoxin on your cognitive and your developmental outcomes among children aged 2 to 6 years. This was a professional study done within the Lantino project that was being carried out by people from CDC as well as Washington State University. So, a bit of background is that there is evidence that aflatoxin exposure impairs neurodevelopment and cognitive outcomes. However, the relationship of these outcomes to humans is not very clear. There are differences in exposure in humans um, compared to animals, and the study authors note that these differences provide some uncertainty about the extension of animal data to humans, but some publications show that animal responses are relevant to humans, at least in broad terms. So given that probable multifaceted impact of aflatoxin on cognitive and neurological functions, it is important to clearly understand which functions are affected. So this was the methodology. Um, so we measure the cognitive outcomes using a, a tool called computerized battery for neuropsychological evaluation of children, or in other terms, BENSI. Then measure the neurodevelopmental outcomes using the Malawi Developmental Assessment Test. In other words, it's called uh, MDAT. So with regards first of all to aflatoxin to age, we find there is a significant association between aflatoxin and age, and it seems the mean aflatoxin exposure tends to increase across the years from age 2, 3, 4, 5, then the mean decreases at age, age 6. Uh, so it's really good to note that down. So when we look at the neurodevelopmental outcomes, uh, that is gross motor, social skills, language, and fine motor, and also we have the total scores. Again, it's aflatoxin. We see like there are several significant uh, values uh, that associate significant associations between your neurodevelopmental outcomes and aflatoxin. So we are going to check in a multivariate analysis whether this remains significant. Also, when you look at the cognitive outcomes, cognitive outcomes, we see that there is no significant association between any of the cognitive outcomes and aflatoxin exposure. So, in animal studies, we have a, a, significant, a significant association between memory, visual motor coordination, process speed, and aflatoxin, but this seems not to be the case when it comes to humans. So, this is a multivariate uh, multivariate analysis. So, it shows that. Uh, there still remains significant association between some of the neurodevelopmental outcomes, such as the total developmental outcomes, as well as uh, language skills and fine motor skills. And with this, we come to the, that aflatoxin exposure was significantly associated with lower neurodevelopmental indicators in this cohort. So assessing for neurodevelopmental outcomes should continue while integrating aflatoxin mitigation strategies as an additional means to monitor health impacts and exposure. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, hope to hear some questions soon.